Pfizer can now bill its COVID-19 vaccine as FDA approved. But what does that mean and what does that change? I'm Brady Smith and I went straight to the FDA to get you answers. On Monday, Pfizer's vaccine became the first to get full FDA approval for people 16 and older. The agency says before it can approve a drug, it looks at clinical data and other information to make sure the drug is safe for its intended use. Basically, the FDA verifies a drug's benefits outweigh any risks like side effects. The acting FDA commissioner said of the approval, quote, the public can be very confident that this vaccine meets the high standards for safety, effectiveness, and manufacturing quality the FDA requires of an approved product. But hold up, people have been taking the Pfizer vaccine along with the Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines for months. How if they weren't FDA approved? Well, those companies got emergency use authorization. The FDA describes that as one of its tools to deal with a public health emergency like the pandemic. In this case, the agency looks at the best available evidence when deciding whether certain medical products can be used to diagnose, treat, or prevent serious diseases. A lot of medical experts expressed hope that now that Pfizer's vaccine has full approval, more people will be comfortable getting the shot. But there's another layer here too. Now, if you refuse to get vaccinated, your healthcare costs could go up. Insurance companies consider unvaccinated people a health risk, kind of like smokers, so they can charge more. FDA approval also makes it a whole lot easier for an employer to mandate COVID-19 vaccinations. So not getting the shot, could cost you your job and more in health insurance.